What's up, what's up, what's up again, my 4C game for life, where we do cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktails. I'm going to have to add conversation to that, too. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Look, I know a lot of people done done stuff on Sweetie Pies and all of that and all the drama that's going on with Sweetie Pies. But you know what? I must say, we got to let this, this call it the rolling pub here, look. You see that? You, you ride a bicycle and you drink while you're doing it. I'm going to get on one of those one day. But I ain't going to be bicycling. Hell, I don't want to buy ride a bike any damn way. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to touch on it. Everybody else didn't touch on it. I did one little thing about it, what I thought about Tim. To this day, it still surprises me. I'm shocked. I don't know how anybody can be that callous and that cold-hearted to have their own family member killed, much less your, your dead brother's son killed. And to do that to your mama, just to know you're going to hurt your mama like that. But, you know, I know everything's going to come out. They found out he got a million-dollar policy on his mama. Maybe, you know, she's up in age, so I would hate to think that he would have killed his mama. So I don't I don't buy that one. I think she's older in age, and he would have waited out, waited that out. Now, allegedly him doing that son, that I mean, doing his nephew like that, my God, my God. But I want to talk about this. Because I never missed one episode of Welcome to Sweetie Pies. I love that show so much. I loved it. I wanted to be on there. Made me wish I was part of Sweetie Pies family. But I'm glad I'm not. <laughs> Shit. Niggas come up missing and dead in that family. But, you know, my heart really goes out to, to Miss Robbie, to all the family. You know, and I'm sad for Tim. I'm, I'm sad for him because God gave you another chance. You got out of prison. You did 10 years in prison. You went in at 17. You a young man. You only 41. You got the rest of your life ahead of you, and you're going to spend it in prison. And when God gave you another chance, my brother, you that money hungry. You had a platform that most of us wish we had. I, I just don't get it. You know, sometimes when God blesses us with stuff, we act like it ain't enough. It ain't enough. Boy, you had, you had it going on. It was more than enough. You didn't have to do that. God bless you. You got a son. What did your son your, and the other baby? I don't know if the lady had it or not. But you're going to be, your children going to be without a dad. You know, and I, let me tell y'all, the reason I even come on here and want to say more because I went back and started watching more, ep, I mean, rewatching episodes. And one of the episodes I watched, you know, I don't know how to put all the videos in here. I would just talk about it. When him and Andre was in, going to the restaurant supply place. And he said, I just don't want Andre to end up like us. And I want to um, make sure he's on the right path. No, nigga, you, you, you killed him. And, then, and when I look back at the episodes now, it lets me know how sinister and calculated and, and, and psychopath he is. Then I looked at the one episode, the pictures up there, Miss Robbie's house. That was four years ago, Miss Robbie's house was broken into and if y'all go back and look at that episode i don't even know how to put the link in there but all you gotta put in there is miss robbie house gets robbed when she walked in there she said somebody that knows me and knew i was out of town broke into my house and it made you know down in my crawl space in the place y'all know me down in my spirit it was tim allegedly I just think it was Tim because you knew your, your mother was out of town. Why wouldn't you check on your mama's house? Why weren't you there with her? And what did you think you would find in your mama's house? Money? Something that you could manipulate her? You know, yeah, we know he got a million dollar um, life insurance policy on her. But I think personally, he wasn't going to kill his mother. I would hope to think that he wouldn't. I would, you know, she's up in age. I think that he knew she probably ain't got that much longer on earth so I you know wait it out wait it out but you know but I look at the old episode and I see I really think it was Tim that broke in her house trying to razzle frazzle her and her nerves which he did why weren't you there because if somebody broke in my mama's house my auntie wouldn't have to get there baby because as soon as my mama called and told me I would have been the first one there I don't care if I was out of town or anything ain't no money that important to me but I want to ask you this Timmy would you kill your own son? Would you kill little TJ? Now, the, the, he, him and the other baby you got, if she's already had him or not, 
They're without a daddy. God gave you another chance. You went to jail at 17, my nigga, and spent 10 years in there, which means you got out at 27. Gave you a platform that most of us wish we had. You had it going on. You could have regrouped and rebranded re, re yourself. But no, you, you want that quick stuff. But look, you still young. You 41 years old, Tim. You got the, re the rest of your life to live. And you know what? It's going to be in prison, allegedly. Your kid's going to be without a daddy. Was it worth it? You know, looking back at those episodes that I rewatched, I see a lot of stuff that you did wrong. Or I see a lot of stuff that just didn't sit right with me. Like in, 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 the, in the restaurant, I mean, talking to Andre those times, you just didn't seem like an uncle to me. Even on the reunion when Miss Robbie's sitting there crying, baby, if that was my mama sitting there crying about my nephew, her grandson, do you know I would have got up and went over there and hugged my mama? You showed no emotion, no remorse. You couldn't even look your mom in the eye because you know what? You had something to do with it, allegedly. That's a shame. There's a special place in hell for you. And I know I said that before, but you know what? I am too scared to do stuff like that because I know I have to answer for it. Did you get that prison mentality? You know what? You take a 17-year-old boy and you put him in prison. They learn all the, the look sneaky shit to do and he had that mentality that's what I see because I don't know any man that just want to kill a kill a family or, or and all that and all this about life and showing and the, and the silly part about it my nigga you never even got a dime now you don't have you don't have your nephew here anymore you don't have your freedom you don't have your kids you don't have your mama, you don't have no family, you don't have no job, you don't have no platform. You ain't got nothing. What you better do is find God and ask God for forgiveness so that your soul won't rot in hell. Allegedly, if you had this done. I could forgive a lot of things, but I don't think I could forgive my child for killing my grandchild. I seen somewhere where they, they should Miss Robbie support Tim. You know what? That's her decision. But I, if that was my child, I'd support you from a distance. I wouldn't send you no money. I would have a listening ear. I would let you cry to me. But other than that, I, you know what? All I can do is say, you find Jesus. Ask the Lord for forgiveness. Because you did not... As his mother, yeah, I would forgive. But... It would be one of those stipulated forgivenesses. I forgive you, but I'm not going to mess with you. No, let me say it like I would say it. Cooking comedy, cussing and cocktail. I forgive you, but I ain't fucking with you. You know, some family members you just have to love from a distance. Do you know, there's a lot of my family members I wish I could take a $450,000 insurance life insurance policy out on and, and have something done and can get the money but that's not the way i'm set up i'm not built like that that's not in my heart i'm not that evil i'm not that mean i wouldn't do that to my own mother you know and and, and that's another thing y'all know anybody that know me for c gang y'all know in every prayer i do what i say thank you jesus for my mother and father in everything that i do i'm talking about my mother i'm talking about my father do you think and I, my mama is 71. She's maybe 10 years younger than Robbie. Do you know I'm trying to cherish every moment I got with my mother? It's not about money. It's about nothing. Just the fact that I could go sit next to her and put my arms around her, hug her, kiss her. Mama, I love you. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you for carrying me through. You and the Lord. But I'm sure. Oh, that would break my heart to know now I'm in prison. And I can't spend no time with my mama. Mm-mm. Oh, I'll never see my mama again on this earth lie, alive. And from what you did, you ain't going to see her in the afterlife because she'll be in heaven and you'll be in hell. But I ain't the one to put you in hell. I got no heaven or hell to put you in. I just hope that you find the Lord, Timmy. Tim. Did I call him Timmy? Tim Norman. 
I still call you Timmy because you're like a little boy. That was some little boy, stupid ass kid shit you did if you did it, allegedly. My God. This is a lesson for everybody. It just breaks my heart, but every time I look at one of the stories, I see it or I look at the news and I hear something about it, my heart just feels some type of way in. And it makes me hold my mama tighter. It makes me hold her closer. It makes me call her more often. It makes me go over there and visit her more. And trust and believe, my mama didn't have no four and five restaurants and, and, and all of that that I could have built on. But you know what? Love conquers all. But you that meant there was no love in your heart, Tim, because love would have overshadowed your greediness. Love would have made you say, I can't see my nephew not being here. Especially at the... My hands. You... And, and, and I was rooting for you, Tim. When you was opening up all them restaurants, I was hoping you succeeded. I, I was hoping you took your mama to the next level. When you opened up Soho, and, 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 and then you opened up another one, you got the patio when she didn't want you to, and you had the lady, the, the, the accountant, write you a check, and you didn't tell your mama about it. I thought it was wrong. I said, but he know what he doing. He love his mama. And I'm sure when you was in prison, Miss Robbie took care of you, and you didn't want for nothing. But you know what, Miss Robbie? Sweetie Pie? This time, don't send him a dime. Let him rot. Oh, write him letters. Talk to him. Don't send him a dime. Let him rot. Let him have to get down on his knees and give some people head. Let him have to give up some of that them big hips and that big butt to get him extra stuff. Don't He got three hots in a cot. He been and he already know. He messed up that chance. Let him be somebody's bitch. Let him have to pay for his sins. Oh, we ain't the one to, to, to judge. We not judging jury. But something in the milk ain't clean. The, the FBI ain't going to just bring you in. You know, they got to have a lot of evidence in order to bring you in. You ain't a little stripper half a little stripper hoe. I'm not saying all whole stripper. I'm just saying they whole wish. I can't believe it. I You know... Man, you had the, the world at your fingertips. You had stuff given to you. Your mother built a dynasty for you that you could have. Your mama's 87 years old. You couldn't wait 15, 20 years. She wasn't going to be here forever. And if you had been right, you were that scared that she wouldn't leave it, you nothing. So you took out your competition. This is one of them stories that that hurts. And you don't even have to be a family member. Okay, y'all, this son is not doing me no justice. You don't even have to be a family member to feel the pain and the hurt. To know what Miss Robbie must be going through. Miss Robbie, I love you, Miss Robbie. I'll be your son. Take me under your wing. Allow me to flourish with you, Mama Robbie. Because he is no good for you. I know that's your child, but sometimes you got to let your child go. You know, me and my mama went through issues, yes. Uh, many of them. But nothing that devastating, that traumatic, that evil, that backstabbing, that low down, that dirty. Nigga, you don't love yourself if you can do that to your mama. You don't love yourself if you can do that to your nephew, of your, of your dead brother. And it just tears my heart apart knowing what your family must be going through because I fell in love with the Sweetie Pie family. Some of them I didn't like. Some of them I did I, Cousin Michelle, I didn't like her. But she worked. She was working. That's what's wrong with black folk. We don't want to work for nothing. We want everything to be handed to us easy and, and instant. Work, Tim. I knew when you didn't show up at your mama house when she got robbed, that nigga had something to do with it. And you set your ass at Andre's funeral. 
How can, I'm an actor. I'm an actor, but I can't act that good. I go in the store and steal something. They would know because I'd be looking around, be nervous as hell. Those are the people that I don't want around me that can be that way. No regret whatsoever. No remorse. But I pray for you, my brother. I pray for you because something is really mentally wrong with you. They said, you know, there's people in the world that have no feelings whatsoever. Don't think about the consequences of their actions. Who is going to hurt? How long is it going? Your mama could have died and had a heart attack from that mess. And it makes me look at everything you've ever done differently now. I look at all of your actions. I have went through there and watched every Sweetie Pie's episode. And each one, I'd be like, uh-huh, oh, okay, there's a sign. Oh, yeah, he did it, allegedly. So I pray for you. Because that's the God in me. I don't want to, oh, people are like, he should get the death penalty and all that. You know what? Let justice take its course. I agree with whatever happened to you, but I pray that you find God and I pray that you remorse and you find some way to uh, make it up to your mother. Talk to her. Oh, Miss Robbie, poor Miss Robbie. It make me want to reach out to her and just give her a hug and say, you know what? All of us are your son. All of us are your children. All the people you've ever fed, those are your kids. We love you. We love you, Miss Robbie. And you be strong and, 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 and trust in the Lord with all thine heart and not thine own understanding. Acknowledge him in all thy ways and he shall direct thy path. Because this here is just unbelievable, unbearable that a son can do that to their mother. And y'all know how much I love my mama. I would never do anything Remotely close like that to my mama. Oh, I've done some shit, but it ain't been nothing like that. Mm -mm. I have to look my mama in the face. When my mama laying in that casket, God forbid she go for before me. But when I look down in that casket, I want to say, you know, just like when I get to heaven, I want God to say, "Job well done." When I look down in that casket, I want my mama to. I want to feel in my spirit that she's saying, "You love me, son, unconditionally." You kept me thinking I was the queen that I know I am. You kept that crown on my head, even when you felt down that my son looked at me as if I was the black queen that I am. Your mother should be a black queen. You should always lift her up. You should catch her when she's tilting a little bit. A son should always be the mama's backbone. The son should always Look at the mama like she's the most beautiful, the most precious woman in the world. And you should never want to see your mama hurt. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm about to cry on this one. How can you do that to your mama? How could you take something so precious from her? Now, I don't know if you broke in the house, but I think you had something to do with it or you had somebody break in. Because, you know what, my mama was out. <sighs> Come on, y'all, let me get up here because I this is... My... You know what? I said I wasn't going to talk about it no more, but it's making me too emotional. I want to write it. You know what? I wish I could find his address and write that motherfucker a letter and cuss that son of a bitch out. Do that to your mama, your big hip, wide hip. Use a bitch. Use a bitch. Only a bitch ass nigga do that to his mama. I'm sorry. That's just me. All right, y'all. This is your boy, comedian Michael Allen. That shit disturbed me. It's disturbing. All right, y'all. I love you, but I don't love nobody more than I love myself. Maybe my mom and God, those are the only two people. All right, this is Michael Ann's son. Peace out.